So what is the Schoberg Harp Tuner? Let's take a look. Walk around, kick the tires, see how this is constructed. First of all, what you're going to be struck with the moment you take it out of the box with really how small the footprint is and how light it is. It weighs one pound, two ounces. Therefore, it's easy to put up on the shelf, to put down, so it's not a permanent tuner that you would see like at the Honer factory, um, which is permanent. You're not going to move that contraption. It is constructed of Nordic air ply and spruce. Think of IKEA. And slider valves located out front. We have two black slider valves constructed of Corian. The slider valves are designed to load and offload the air pressure, and, and I'll uh, demonstrate that what, what, what exactly that means. Also, you have white 1 through 10 Corian slider valves. These are the valves that are going to regulate the vacuum coming through your reed slots. You'll notice the two grills that are machined on the top plate over here on the right side on the left side. This helps to enhance the surround the sound effect that you get when using the harp tuner. Moving over to the top side here, the black gasket, 10 machine slots in the front, 10 in the back. Now, these slots are designed to separate and to isolate the vacuum coming through each individual reed. At this point, three manufacturers are represented that you can just simply order as Honer, Seidel, and Suzuki. Diatonics, of course. Now the back side here, you may be wondering why, why, where does the 10 go? In future models of harp tuners, Dick has mentioned that he's considering reference reeds, also known as master reeds, which is exactly what the manufacturers do. So be on the lookout for that. Inserted into the gasket are these five pins. These pins are, are used to index, to line up your reed plates, so it is precisely over each individual valve there is no leakage. It's absolutely airtight if you line everything up to those index pins. To the left of the gasket material is this brass tubing which connects the vacuum chamber to the hose and the hose to the mouthpiece. I neglected to mention internally what's, what's really so, so magical about this Harp tuner is it's constructed like a violin. So the amount of resonance and volume is absolutely extraordinary. I'm thinking of going on to the bandstand and just playing the harp tuner because <laughs> I won't even have to mic it, it's that loud. Most prominent on the harp tuner is the clamping mechanism. Dick calls this the delta wing. What's so innovative about it is you won't find any springs, any cams, any levers. It uses the natural tension of the Nordic air ply to apply constant pressure on the pins and the pins onto the reed plate, reed plate pushing onto the gasket. Before the reed plate obscures your vision, I'm going to show you, I'm going to point to the two holes that are machined deep into the slot over here and as so I pull on the lever, this one's number five, that the slider valve opens up and will allow the vacuum, the air from your breath to pull the reed down into the slot. 